Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a first impression and review of the new Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. This is a new product that they have coming out. This is part of their Amazonian Clay collection. So the Amazonian Clay line is loaded with great ingredients that's really good for your skin. So that's one of the things that they have going. I don't know if this one has SPF in it. I do believe that the other Amazonian Clay Foundation has SPF. I have all the shades too, so I can swatch all the shades for you guys. You can really see them on my very pale wrist. <laughs> So it is full coverage with a dewy finish. That's what the foundation is described as and it is a stick foundation which I've never been crazy about stick foundations myself. I haven't had much success with it. I feel like it just kind of wears weird on my skin. You can kind of see some texture. I've just never found one that I love. Let's do this. Let's get started here, shall we? So let's do some, we'll do it on the neck. How about that? How about that? Yeah, so I already have eye makeup on, not all done and then I have my under eye concealer and I have my Makeup Forever primer on my face already because I went and looked at some houses this morning. So I had a little something on my face, but other than that, that's that's pretty much it. So here is Fair Light Neutral. That's, that's what color you like your coffee, John. That looks like a really nice cup of coffee. Yeah, wow, it makes my neck look hairy. So this is like the actual color of my neck and face, but that would be like too light. I would look like I had kind of like ghosty face compared to my arm, so I'm not gonna do that one. Light Medium Neutral. Kind of a little, Yellow. I was gonna say orangey. Yeah. Here's medium beige. That's medium beige. I feel like that's a little bit closer to what I would do. Let me see. Ooh, that looks very almondy actually. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So this is medium neutral, kind of orangey. And here's medium sand. I feel like that's probably the color I'm gonna use. So what made me actually wanna try this foundation was when I swatched it uh, on the back of my wrist. It looked really creamy, nice coverage. So I think I'm gonna end up going with this shade. Is it just me or is there no light sand? Cause these all look like pretty, besides this one, they look kind of a little too like pinky almond undertoned on my skin. I feel like this is the same thing with the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. They didn't have a light sand, but they did end up coming out with it later on. All right, let's 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 get started. Shall we? By the way, do you notice my hair's down? This is really hard for me to style my hair down. I think I'm gonna do one side with a beauty blender and the other side with a brush. I have a Luxie 832. It's like a kabuki, not totally flat top, but it's a, a round kabuki brush. I can't believe I just got rid of so much stuff in my makeup room. If you guys follow me on Snap, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't think I have any flat top kabuki brushes left, which is really weird. Here we go. We're doing shade medium sand. It's definitely gonna look more tan than my skin, but hopefully it will all blend in. Boom. All right, let's do some up in here. I need a little more coverage. All right, let's do the other side with a brush. All right, I feel like with a brush, it gives like way better coverage. Coming back in over this area just to give a little bit more coverage. Let me hit my neck one time. Boom. Get the blend. We're really zoomed in here. I, I just finished putting it all over my face. Definitely prefer it with a brush application. I don't know, I feel like I can see little like lines in it, but I feel like it just like clings to drier areas. Like around my nose, I feel like it's just kind of like sitting. Like I can see it. It looks good on the cheeks, but I feel like on my upper lip, kind of around my chin and little fine line areas, I feel like it's just kind of sitting. It's not sitting, it's sitting. <laughs> you know the difference, right? Like my lashes are sitting. I wanna say light, almost light coverage. I wanna say light to light medium coverage. This is pretty much two coats on my face right now. All right, let's open it up a little bit. Opening it up a little bit. Definitely got like a more natural finish to it, which I do like the finish. See, this is what I feel like stick foundation does to me. I feel like it glides over the pores and like the little peach fuzz and like the pores and like any little texture on your face, but it doesn't like sink into the skin. I feel like it kind of just glides and rests on top of it. Like all this area right here, I feel like I can really see all my pores. 
and it's already settling into like right here, which usually doesn't happen. You know what's weird is sometimes when I do like foundation reviews, if I don't like the foundation, people tell me that I did it wrong. <laughs> They're like, well, yeah, you don't like it because you did it wrong. I'm like, this is the way I do it though. That's why I'm try I tried Beauty Blender and brush. And I do agree that this looks better with a brush. All right, so I'm gonna do some shape tape and we're gonna do, this is light medium. Just around the eyes. And I will definitely be using my Beauty Blender for this part. I feel like this the foundation has a little bit of a lighter coverage. I'm okay with lighter coverage as long as you can't see it. Cause my problem is I feel like sometimes with lighter coverage foundations, it ends up looking like you're wearing more makeup than a full coverage or a fuller coverage foundation. I'm trying to clean up this nose area a little bit. Snoot. Yeah, my snoot. That looks a little better when I hit it with a beauty blender. All right, so let's set the under eyes. I'm just gonna use my RCMA no color powder. To highlight, I'm gonna use, I just bought this at Sephora, so I really wanna use it. The Natasha Denona Face Glow Cream Shimmer, shade number two, which is medium. Just tap it on with the fingers. I think this is taking off the foundation. Fall back! Okay, now on blush, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller. This is Honeysuckle Blush and Brighten. I'm not going peachy with blush, isn't that weird? This is like more pinky bronze, kind of. Okay, she went in. All right, so I, maybe I should have powdered my cheeks first, but I'm just gonna go in. This is what I used to set under my eyes. If I wanna tone down the blush, I always go too hard on my blush and then I just kind of do one of these, even it out a little bit. Oh, it just looks like it's kind of like sitting in all the pores right here. And then especially like I, I powdered it a little bit so it looks a little bit better, but like between my eyebrows, it's doing something not that flattering and check out the nose. Looks a little dry. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my no color setting powder and just lightly pounce it on the forehead because I think I might, if I put bronzer on, I think it could be a little bit of a problem because <laughs> it's still, it feels a little bit creamy. And now I'm gonna layer on some bronzer. Something about my nose is bothering me. It kind of looks like my nose is like a shell and like makeup is just sitting, you know when your nose gets really sunburnt and it's like red and it's just like so tight that it almost looks like a shell. That's kind of how my nose feels at the moment. All right, I'm going to cut, finish up the rest of my eye makeup, and then I will come and check back in on the foundation. So I just finished putting on the rest of my makeup, like my eye makeup, some lipstick and whatnot. And here is what the final product, if I were to do my full face with this foundation looks like. And you know what's funny is when I first put it on, I was not feeling it. But once I started layering all the other products on top of it, I'm feeling okay about it. My only concern so far is just in certain areas, I feel like it kind of glides a little bit over the pores. And I feel like you can kind of see my pores a little bit more than you can with other foundation. The coverage is okay. It's buildable, which is all right. Right now, what would I grade it? Maybe like a, a B minus. C plus. It's definitely not one of my favorite foundations I've ever put on my face. Don't get it twisted, all right? It's no pro glow. It's no pro matte, but it does have a nice looking finish to it. I feel like my face looks pretty natural right now. So I will give it that. We'll see how it wears in the next few hours. I'm gonna come back and check in and see. I may not be dressed at that point and I may not have hair in anymore. I don't know. Don't know what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna start going downhill once I uh, stop recording this. I told you my hair wouldn't last that long. Hmm. How long has it been? It's been about five hours since I first put on the foundation. This is my nighttime check-in. I feel like it looks okay. Like I, I'm not like, wow, my skin looks amazing when I look at my foundation in the mirror, but I'm not like, oh my God, get this off my face right now. It feels very lightweight on my skin, which is a good thing considering most stick foundations that I've tried just feel really heavy and creamy on my face. This one does have a very lightweight feel. It has a nice natural finish to it. The coverage is a little bit lighter than what I was expecting. It was a pretty light to medium coverage, a little bit more buildable. I feel like right now it kind of has like a natural wear throughout the day. I didn't put any like highlighter on my forehead or anything. It kind of has like a natural wear, but I just feel like when I look up close at my face, I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit dry. And there's also some interesting things happening like in this area right here. It looks like I have like little dots. I don't know if it's because it's like reacting with the shape tape, like it's doing some weird separating thing. I don't wanna zoom in, but let's zoom in. See like right here? It's kind of like separating a little bit. And like in the nostril area, I feel like there's something interesting happening kind of in here. Right there. I want to say maybe if you have more oily, oily skin, because I feel like if you have dry skin, it's gonna make your skin look even drier because I feel like it kind of makes my skin look a little bit drier. 
But then I feel like if you have oily skin, it's gonna do kind of like a weird separate -y thing, like what's going on over here, but I don't know if that's because of the shape tape or what. So how do I feel about this foundation? Eh. Eh. Am I gonna wear it again? I don't think so. I like my Maybelline one a lot more. Obviously, I love my L'Oreal one a lot more. I think maybe, maybe just stick foundations are not for me. Hopefully, this review helped you guys out. Also, I'm gonna show you some swatches of the rest of the shades. Hopefully, one of them matches you if you guys are still interested in checking it out. Let me know what you guys thought of this review in the comments down below. Also, if you plan on testing out this foundation for yourself. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.